Digital transformation is happening and it means the way we work with data is changing. Data is becoming a defining business asset, aiming to enable greater insight and better decision making. Digital twins are being placed at the heart of business strategies to enable information to be managed effectively and shared securely. But this is only the start. The full value of digital transformation cannot be realised without alignment and coordination across our industry. That is why the ambition for digital twins is enforced by the ambition for a national digital twin. An ecosystem of digital twins and the protocols by which they can be integrated securely and resiliently to create a data-led approach to decision making across the built environment and beyond. To make this a reality, organisations need to change their priorities and shift from being technology focused to data led, laying the foundations such as data quality and information management that will promote integration and interoperability. There is a need for information management, data science and digital twin specialists to lead the way. If you are one of these specialists involved in planning, creating and managing the built environment, this video will explain why and how you can influence and lead your organisation to generate benefits from their data and surrounding data ecosystem. By being advocates of change and sharing best practice in terms that organisations can understand, you can help solve challenges and change bad habits around data quality and information management that will enable enhanced decision making, enhance trust and security, break down barriers to sharing data, increase productivity and capability, and accelerate the path to net zero, all of which form part of corporate success. To support your organisation on their journey towards better information management and enable the national digital twin, you should follow these three steps. Step one, be guided by the Gemini principles. Step two, understand the information management framework and what it can do for your organisation. Step three, develop and grow your capability to deliver with the skills and competency framework. Let's explain these in more detail. Step one, be guided by the Gemini principles. It is advised that organisations be guided by the same principles of the National Digital Twin. They are called the Gemini Principles and ensure everything delivered is purposeful, trustworthy and functional. Step 2. The UK is developing the Information Management Framework, the IMF, a technical rulebook and handbook that will connect digital twins nationally. The document a pathway towards an IMF explains this in more detail. The technical core of the information management framework can be split into three parts, all needing specific skills and roles to make it a reality. The foundation data model is a consistent clear understanding of what constitutes the world of digital twins and how we want to be able to formally describe them and their applications in a machine interpretable way. The reference data library is the particular common set of classes and the properties we will want to use to describe our digital twins. In practice, this could take form through a federation of domain specific libraries with a single common protocol. The integration architecture is the protocols that will enable the managed sharing of data, the production of models, the scripting of queries, and the analysis, interpretation, and application of model outputs. 
Whilst the Information Management Framework supports the National Digital Twin, the digital future of the built environment relies on the people that will create and use it. This is where we bring in Step 3. Develop and grow your capability to deliver with the Skills and Competency Framework. People, including you and your teams, must understand and communicate the importance of the Information Management Framework and the benefits it can deliver. Specifically, the National Digital Twin needs passionate advocates who have developed the skills and competencies required to deliver this digitally built future. Without understanding the skills and roles required to develop, adopt and use the information management framework, there is a risk that organisations may deploy staff who lack the sufficient skills needed to develop their digital twins and therefore we will all miss out on the benefits it can deliver. In the Skills and Competency Framework, we identify 12 critical skill families needed to develop and support adoption of the Information Management Framework and enable the National Digital Twin. The skills families are split into two categories, business and digital, and both are equally as important. These skills are mapped to eight organisational priority roles and eight national priority roles, with competency indicators making it easy to identify a person's current level of competency and how to advance it. Let's take a look at Data Architect, for example. The role profile identifies the right level of skill needed to adopt the Information Management Framework. It also includes an overview and some responsibilities. The aim of the role profile is to enable you to match the data architect with a role that already exists in your organisation and ideally a person performing it, allowing you to do a maturity assessment or identify training needs. Alternatively, if the role does not exist, it provides you with a starting point for bringing in someone to fill that role from a different part of your organisation. Assessing and recruiting a person from outside your organisation or working with partners to support this role for you. You can also use the 25 competency scorecards which represent the extended list of roles needed. Use them as a tool to understand how ready you are to adopt the Information Management Framework and identify the next steps of your team's journey. Seize the opportunity to use this Skills and Competency Framework to underpin digital twin development and Information Management Framework adoption by upskilling your teams and hiring new talent aligned to the Skills Framework. With the Skills and Competency Framework, you can accelerate progress reduce the rate of digital twin failure and ensure consistency in the approach to enable the national digital twin, all while establishing a pathway for digital skills and capability enhancement across the UK. You and your teams can do this by communicating the value of data as an asset and the importance of literacy, quality and security taking a systems thinking approach to see data, technology and process as part of an interconnected ecosystem. Having a collaborative and adaptable culture that is benefits driven, focused on outcomes and understand the role people play in achieving this. As specialists leading the way, you can make a difference by being guided by the Gemini principles and getting your team ready to adopt the Information Management Framework. Take a look at the Skills and Competency Framework, assessing your team's skills maturity, and identify key stakeholders within your organisation, mapping out how you need to influence them to make a step change. Together, we can create a digital-built future and collaborate down the path to net zero.